Time now for Real Talk with our Greg Russell. All thanks to our partners at the Imagine Theaters. Good to see you, buddy. Great Happy to New see Year. you both. Happy New yeah. Year to both Happy of you, New too. Year. Thank you very much. Good to have you with us. So there's lots Glad of talk. Back. Golden Globes this weekend, yeah. right, here on NBC. Right. Yeah. Big show coming up for that. I've got friends who are part of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Okay. So they're all excited. And awesome. they're all hoping, you know, that who knows, hopefully Leonardo DiCaprio will... Uh, is that right? Win, yeah. Are they rooting for that? They're rooting for him because wow. great job in that new movie, The yeah. Revenant. Tell us about it. It's based off of a true story of this explorer, Hugh Glass, who back in the 1800s, he was out on an expedition. I mean, they were going out, you know, trying to get right. furs and all like that. Mm -hmm. Well, he gets attacked by a bear. He's in the woods and he sees two cubs. Next thing you know, this big bear comes out. And, I mean, just really rips him apart. Wow. And so. The rest of the group, they had to move on, so they left another guy there, played by Tom Hardy, to watch over him. Mm -hmm. And Tom is kind of looking around going, it's just me and this kid and him, and yeah. I don't really think he's going to make it, so we may as well just leave. Oh, wow. wow. And so Leo's character, you know, just begins to heal itself, or heal himself, uh, and just get back into condition. And his thing was really, he wanted to find Tom Hardy's character. Wow. Uh, so he went through, as the old saying goes, hell and high water hmm. to, you know, catch up with this guy. Uh, Leonardo does a great job. I mean, you feel the pain mm -hmm. when you see it in his face. Wow. You also, you know, feel the anger and things that he has going on within him because he just wants to reach this one part at the end. And just some of the things he had to do. Uh, you know, there are a couple of scenes with a horse, you're just kind of going to go, yeah. like, whoa. It's pretty intense. Mm. I mean, it is. Yeah, it is really pretty intense. So what's your review on this? Oh, How many reels? Definitely a four. Okay. Definitely wow. a four. Four out of five. That's yeah. impressive. And, and, you know, and you really do. You kind of hope that this will be Leo's year. I mean, he's done so many great things before in the past mm -hmm. and got passed mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. But this one is, you know, just really just a great performance and a great movie. I mean, it's about two plus hours. Okay. But it's another one that goes by. Yeah. Very quickly. Okay, that's great. Well, let's move on to the next movie. It's yes. Coming out this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. This is kind of, is this an unusual time for a scary movie to come out? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of almost, like you said, it's one of those where it's like, well, we're past the award season. Uh -huh. So let's just kind of put this out, you know, yeah. for fun and okay. maybe the date movie on the weekend. And it does okay. look scary. The trailers make yeah. it look scary. It is. Yeah. It's a scary movie called The Forest. Okay. But also it's a psychological thriller. Okay. Um, it's all about this young lady. She's got a twin sister who is a teacher over in Japan. Mm -hmm. And on a serious note, there's a real park over there in Japan where people go to. Oh, wow. You know, kill them. Take their lives. Take their no, lives. Kidding. Yeah, I mean, it's a known park. So that was the last place her sister was seen. So her deal is she wants to go over there. Find out, you know, what happened to her sister, or even just find her sister. She wants to get the story, she right? Wants to figure it out, yeah. And you know how like twins always have that really mm -hmm. nice connection. Yeah. So when I got to talk to Natalie Dormer, we talked about, you know, looking for a loved one and what you would do. Right. And so here we go with the interview. Yeah, I know. I can only imagine because you always hear about these great attachments that twins have, you know, mm. with each other, where, you know, she's pulled in. It's like, that's your sister. you got to go find her. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think we can all identify with someone we really love, a member yeah. of family or a lover, mm -hmm. uh, disappearing. And you would mm -hmm. travel to the other side of the world to find right. that person if you thought that that person was in danger. Yeah. So Sarah strides into that forest. She's like the big sister. She's going to find her sister, sort it all out, mm -hmm. and then things start to go wrong real quick. Yeah, they start going terribly wrong. It's, it's almost one of those where you're sitting in the audience going, I would just go, I'll wait for the cops. I'm going back. <laughs> I'll sit in the car. I <laughs> love you, but I'm not going in I'm there. I'm not going in there. Yeah. As an actor, it's so fun to play a psychological unraveling. And like we said, a physical unraveling as well. You know, yeah. not having to worry about looking good, just rolling around in the mud <laughs> with the worms and the dirt, and the, you know, just throw more worms and beetles at me, please. <laughs> that's I, I need to get bit, bitten by more mosquitoes. Like that's how it was. And, and as you say, you just when you said throw more beetles, no, not Paul McCartney or Ringo Starr. You're no, about, like yeah. I'm talking about the, <laughs> the multi-legged things that were dropping down my T-shirt as I rolled around in the dirt. Yes, yeah. you know, it's a real place, and it's scary. That the, the story that we tell is is fictional that that you know somebody created but the backdrop and the scene uh, the scenery and everything that that happens within that story is based in reality which adds to the, <laughs> the, the you know the, the will add to the film
My whole life I'm watching interviews people with British accents, yes. and it always amazes me when they do that and you see them in the movie and it's yeah. out there. And they yeah. the American accent. And they do what do you give it? Much better. A three. You yeah. Know, okay. Fun right. little thing to go out and watch. Like I said, it's also psychological, so you'll follow along yeah. and at the end, like I said, then you'll start going back, checking out like, the red herrings oh, that you right, saw gotcha. earlier. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so Uncle Greg has got us some stuff to yes, uh, some I swag do. for our viewers this morning. It's from Uncle Greg's After the Holiday <laughs> Christmas Special, also known as the you. stuff. Mrs. Russell said to take out of the get, house. Get out of the house. <laughs> but you get right. so much, so thanks. Yes. What are we going to give away? We have got an ABA basketball from the movie Daddy's oh, yeah. Home. Okay, Randy. Thank you. There Bye. you go. Also, from the movie The Martian, we've got a script uh, here. And you can tell that it's used because it's even got a little dent on the okay. cover. Okay. But an actual script from the movie, so you can check it out. Right. A movie, The Black Mass, from uh, the movie. All uh, right. Called The Black Mass. There you go. Also, a Daddy's Home sweatshirt. A Point Break soundtrack awesome. and a Point Break winter hat. There you go. All this is yours for after the holidays. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Great Thank seeing you, so you guys too. Here. Always a pleasure. <laughs>